What's going on? It's your boy Webb back again with another reaction video. Today we're gonna check out Mr. M's Red Pill MGTOW compilation. I like doing these videos because it's just like you know, these days I mean these days when it comes to social media because we can connect to multiple people across the world, man. Sooner sooner or later across the damn universe. But we can connect to people all over the world different cultures different backgrounds different ethnicities and traditions and ancestries everything everything is so different we can connect to them in an instant and because of that it, it's funny too because you have to understand i'm gonna go deep for a bit you have to understand everything always goes back to nature everything always goes back to biology everything always goes back to the purpose of why it was created built or made everything always goes back to the beginning so when I what I mean by that is every like the reason why, you know, sex talk, the reason why relationship talk, the reason why just everything that has a family talk, the reason why all that is always going to stay prevalent within society. And it's always going to stay one of the most biggest topics to discuss and talk about is because that's the purpose of our biology. That's the purpose of us existing is to procreate get our genes to the next generation and for us to die and for them to carry that torch that generation that next generation that's the whole point so that's why relationships and finding the right mate and all this other stuff is always going to be uh, you know a talking point and so it's always so big too but that's why it's never going to stop it's never going to stop being that because it's it always goes back to that it goes always goes back to the reason why we're here is to simply procreate so we have to find the right mate to do that with and we have to sh demonstrate the man and the woman have to demonstrate the proper abilities, um, traits, whatever you want to call them, in order to raise those kids so that their kids can continue on that torch and carrying this damn human race. I said enough. Let's get into the damn video. Before we do, make sure if you're new, to subscribe to the damn channel. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers. The goal is to get to 250 by the end of February. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Other than that, let's go. It's just heavy. That's why they hire men. <laughs> It's not gonna bite you, all right? Looks like Keith Richards with a glass of warm milk. <laughs> hey, Mr. White. Make this tire shine, huh? I've never seen that. I still got it. Again. What in hell? Every woman should date five men. Every woman should have five men in their life. If they're not in a relationship. Until it's official. I don't think women should date one man. We need to find her and put her into the rotation. The ball drainers could be massive here. Massive. We have to take turns because I think I can agree with this concept that she's got. Let's let's get. I, I gotta I gotta stop it. I wasn't planning to stop it, but I gotta stop it real quick, man. I, I gotta get this out there into the ether because when it comes to the whole MGTOW and uh, when it comes to dating, when it comes to relationships, a lot of men just don't get it. And the uh, same thing can be said to, to women as well. They don't get it either. But the thing is, life is not. It, it's, it's not even that. It's you need to focus on who you are and what your purpose is in this world first. You don't need to be worrying about who's going to who you got to suck you off to do this and do that and have sex and all this other shit. You don't need to be worrying about that. First and foremost, I got to get that out there. You That's not a concern. Who give a damn about who your wife going to be? Who give a damn about who your husband going to be? Don't worry about that yet. If you ain't got no trade, no, no, you know, character traits no talents no money you, you ain't got nothing to bring to the table start the table you are the table type shit like you got nothing to contribute to your legacy whether it's your own family or your kids you have nothing to you have nothing of nothing you don't need to be worrying about oh who i'm gonna see later on tonight or you, that's all a distraction this goes for men and for women both of y'all need to be in the gym <laughs> in the gym busting your ass 
You need to be going to school, and if you don't want to go to school, go to a damn trade school. And if you don't want to go to a trade school, we'll learn a fucking skill because you're going to be wasting your time if you're working a dead-end fucking warehouse job, a dead-end fucking all these little entry-level McDonald's. I don't give a damn if you're manager. I don't give a damn if you're making $18 an hour. That's a dead-end fucking job. Yeah, you'll have the job forever, but you ain't going nowhere with that. And the only way you're going somewhere with that is if you have the drive to achieve certain things, supply chain management or some type of something bigger than that. But even then, you still have to go to the school for most of that shit these days because of how competitive it is. And even if you go to school, it is so damn competitive out here that that doesn't mean you're going to have shit. Doesn't mean you're going to get a job off the bat. Doesn't mean you're going to get a good job off the bat or even if you have experience or whatever the case may be. But that that's why I got to leave that. There's so many people out here. I'm talking about people. I'm not just talking about men. I'm not just talking about women. I'm talking about both. So many people are concerned about finding that pleasure, that lustfulness. And that's why you have all these little pregnancy scares and they all flip out and get all scared and shit because they have no idea. Like, bitch, what you think? And I'm speaking to the men too. Bitch, what you think? You thought having sex with this girl, you weren't going to get her pregnant? I don't, you have to understand the purpose behind it. It's to procreate. So you don't need to be out here having sex for pleasure because, and then you ain't got your own shit made up. You even got money. You ain't got a place to stay. You don't even have your own morals or, or standards. I don't give a damn if you have money already. You don't even have morals and standards or ethical codes to raise your own kids in. And yet you're concerned about getting some piece of ass. These people are insane. You people out there are insane, man. To each their own, though. That's why. Just y'all, y'all wonder why you have this soft ass family, soft ass brother, soft ass sister. They get taken advantage of. People run their lives. Their little boyfriend, girlfriends run their lives because they're just they, they fucking have no standards. They have they have nothing. Yeah, their mom and dad may have raised them so they to exist, but they have no purpose or meaning beyond that. I've met so many people. I'm really passionate right now. I'm going on this little rant right now because I just have talked to so many people so many times, and that's exactly what they are. And I'm talking to everybody. I'm not just talking about, oh, you know, know, working class type people. I'm talking about millionaires. I'm talking about people who are fucking making six figures plus, making seven figures plus. These people are lost in life. They have nowhere to go, nowhere to turn. I don't give a damn because this is the thing, too. If you're a millionaire or if you're making six figures or you're comfortable with your finances, then grind for something else. Grind for your physical appearance, your physical fitness. Okay, you have that accomplished. Okay, work on the mental shit then. Any trauma that has happened in your life. Okay, you have that shit done or you have no trauma. Okay, work on the next thing. And if you have all that shit completed, okay, start giving back then. Start giving back to your community. Start giving back to your family. Start giving back. There's always a mission. There's always a purpose to fucking pursue, man. A lot of y'all love to be distracted. Go to the fucking bars on the weekends. Go to fucking go to your girlfriend's house. Go to your boyfriend's house. You love to be distracted. I swear these people are so fucking stupid out here, man. I'm really passionate right now because I just I talk to so many people and I hear the same fucking story over and over again and they just don't get it. And the people I love is when I, I mean, I don't give advice unless they ask for it. But when they ask for some type of advice and I give it to them straight up, point blank, and then they fucking, oh, no, but that's not going to work. Oh, no, but they they, they find the fucking excuse because they ignorance is bliss. Ignorance is fucking bliss, man. I digress. I went on a whole ass rant. Let's get back to the video. It just... When you have the clarity about your life and where you're trying to go, what you're trying to achieve, when you meet people who are fucking like just lost in life, that shit upsets you. I mean, it really does. I'm not concerned about that person because they're not me at the end of the day, but it upsets a certain part of you because you're like, damn, if I was that in that situation like that person is right now, I would fucking it would be over, man. That's it. Having that type of mentality, the older and older you get where you have nothing going on and you're not looking for anything, it you live the fucking horrible life. It is what it is, man. Let's keep going because this shit, this shit got me triggered. I ain't gonna lie. How do you feel that gays take up 2% of the world's population but commit 45% of sexual assaults against children? Love is love. 
Y'all are crazy. This is all I say. People are stupid out here. Exactly. That's some real shit right there. Y'all need to start having standards. Like a fake laugh, right? Okay, but I'm sorry. Like, we're just, I'm gonna have to do this video another day because I, I just, I'm, I got shit flowing through my mind right now. Just every video I see, I'm gonna have to say something about it, man. I'll save this, I'll make another, vi I'll finish this compilation sometime later, maybe next week. But I just gotta go off real quick, man. I just, I, I, I'm feeling it today. I just gotta go off and that type of situation right there. I always say this and I will continue to say this until the masses of men anyway understand this and know this. The reason why your girlfriend, your mom, your grandma, any woman, your sister, any woman in your life, the reason why she I don't know how I want to phrase this. But the the reason why they treat you the way they do is because they know you won't do shit. I'm going to say that again. The reason your wife your girlfriend, your mom, your grandma, whoever, the reason why they know you, they talk to you a certain type of way. And I'm not saying this, especially when it applies to your mom or grandma, I'm not saying that to be disrespectful, but I, I if they talk down to you, if these women, I mean, men too, if men talk down to you and you let them talk down to you, you got major problems that you need to solve. But if you let women talk down to you as well, I, I mean, there's, I don't know what the hell you got to do. I, I really don't know. I mean, obviously you never got to that social point in your own life where it's like, okay, I have pride with who I am. Even if I'm insecure about who I am, I still got pride and dignity and self-respect for myself where I'm not going to let anybody, even if it's my mama talk shit to me, but especially no random girl, your girlfriend, your wife, ain't, ain't nobody disrespecting, man. That, like that's the thing these days. I've seen it, you know, high school, college, I've seen it. A lot of these men are soft and you can't even call them men because of it. A lot of these men are soft because of the the way the world is working when it comes to just media and they just, the, just growing up, just growing up, you see it, you know, the men are real soft. I mean, look at who we look at as icons or as, you know, celebrities and shit like that, soft ass people, including women. So, I mean, it is what it is with women, but for men, it's a different story. Soft ass rappers, soft ass. I don't give a damn how hard you bang or these soft ass dudes, because it, it, it's about a creed, it's about a code, it's about standards, it's about morals. I don't give a damn if you're a drug dealer, but if you got some type of ethical code or, or creed, now nah, obviously I ain't condoning that shit, but you have to understand where I'm coming from. It's about the the fucking code, man. It's it's about having standards and purpose within whatever it is that you do do. It's not about being loose and, and and wavy to just anybody that can come by and persuade you to do something you know what i mean like it, it, i don't know what it is and in that type of situation right there like that's what it always matters the most you need to stand up for yourself you need to know who you are deep down inside i don't give a damn if you you may not be the most manly of men you may not be the most masculine of men but i need you to still have that within you that dignity that self-respect to know that i'm not gonna let anybody talk to me this type of way they might fuck me up they might beat me up this chick might beat me up but i'm still not gonna let her disrespect me with whatever she thinks or whatever she has to say i'm she, they're gonna know i have a backbone they're gonna know i have something to say or they're gonna know i'm about that and i gotta do whatever i gotta do in order to prove that and i'm not saying you're gonna prove anything to anybody but you're that type of person that you have that backbone man i had to get that out there because it's just there's so many videos I've seen, so many people that I've talked to, so many interactions, even earlier in my life when I was a kid. And it's just like, yeah, you, you got to stand up, man. And gone are the days where you can just be silent and not do shit like these days because of how easy it is and because of how how everything these days is a mental and psychological battle, not so much more physical anymore. It's all mental battles. 
uh, you know, get into your head. People get into their head to your head with words, you know. The words, I mean, people can say some shit, it will get into your head and then you do some you do some self-harm because of that. So you you have to really understand and build that up within yourself. But let me know what you guys thought about the video down below. Like I said earlier, I just went on rants this whole damn video, so we're going to have to do the compilation again sometime maybe next week. But let me know what you guys thought about the video down below. Make sure if you're new here, subscribe to the damn channel. We're on the road to a 1,000 subscribers. The goal is to get to 250 by the end of February. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and also share the video. If you want me to react, comment, give you some type of advice, hit me up at the Don Speaks at gmail.com. That's where you can find me. Other than that, man, y'all need to take care of your business, take care of your shit, build that foundation of who you are deep down inside and stay there. Stay there until you're ready for something bigger. If you... I'm telling you right now, if you think you want a relationship, be prepared. Start dating with the intent. Don't rush anything. And have those standards for yourself and for your partner. They got to have they whatever preferences and standards. Understand you may not get them, but have them. Because rather have them and not need them than need them and not have them. It's been your boy Webb, man. Peace. Peace.